I think we all actually want to thank you, Michael. Oh, thank you. I mean, we actually really all want to thank you for everything. Oh my God, something's happening. 9,986,000 minutes. We actually sat down and did the math. 9,986,000 minutes. That's how many minutes that you've worked here. In costumes. And impressions. In meetings. In cups of coffee. For birthdays. More meetings and. Email boards you made us read. 9,986,000 minutes. That's like watching Die Hard 80,000 times. Yeah, okay. Well, this is going to hurt. In this week's show, there will be a soccer highlight segment, a softball highlight segment, a shoe segment, and much more. Stay tuned. Hey, Vikes. Welcome back. On this week's segment, I'm going to be showing a few softball highlights from last week's games as I took on Gar and Paramount for the first round of league. Hope you enjoyed today's segment. See you next time, Vikes. Hey Downey, this year's Bud Drive is being held at Downey Elk Squad this Friday, May 7th, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you're 16, you need a parent's consent form that you can pick up from the Writing Center or Mrs. Sims' office. Appointments are advised, and you can make one by visiting this website or using this QR code. Hey Vikes, with the realization that I'm going to be graduating this year, and this is actually my last segment, I wanted to talk about something related to how fast time moves. If you don't know what you're doing right now, you have no concept because everybody around you seems to know what they're doing and seems to like have a concept of, oh, I'm gonna be this when I grow up, I wanna pursue this. It's fine if you don't, you don't need to. You don't need to right now, you don't need to next month, next year. It, you can go at your own pace and that's totally fine even if you think it's way slower than everybody else. Honestly, a lot more people don't know what they're going to do than you think. A lot of the times people are just, there's this one thing that they enjoy, so they just say that they're going to do that so that they have an answer to that question. If you don't have an answer at all, even not something to lie about, that's fine. <laughs> you, you don't need to know what you're doing. And if you do have an idea of what you're doing, if like four or five years down the road, even less than that, you realize that that's not what you want to do and you change it, that's completely okay. You don't need to be consistent about that. You can try one thing for a little while and then realize it's wrong and then try something else. That's totally fine. No matter what ends up happening, no matter what you end up doing, no matter how long it takes you to figure that out, you're gonna be fine and you're gonna find your path. And so for my last sign off, you've got this. I believe in you, good luck and goodbye bikes. Hey seniors, Cap and Gun Distribution Day is May 19th from 12 to 5 p.m. in the DHS Theater. It is also your last chance to pick up or buy any cap and gowns. Also, tassels will be on sale. Hello, my name is Jason Garcia, and in today's segment, I will be introducing Downey students, and they will be showing us their sneaker collection. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Alejandro, and I'm here to show you guys my sneaker collection. I got these reeks off of the sneakers app for around $190. The second pair, I have the Jordan 1 Obsidians. I got these for around $500 resale. At the Off-White Dunks University Reds, I got these for around $670. You see Air Force Ones. These were, I got these retail. These were like $140. Well, that was my sneaker collection. Thanks for watching. Hello, my name is Angel Lopez, and these are my sneakers. They are a pair of Jordan 11 72 tens, and they cost me about 275, which is resale value. These are my Yeezy V2 blue tins, which I got for 490, which were the resale value. 
These are another pair. They are my Jordan 4 Toe Bravos, and I got them for a resale value of 280. My Jordan 13 Weeps, which I got for a retail value of 190. That was my figure collection. Thank you, and have a good rest Thank of your day. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this segment, and I also hope you enjoyed their sneaker collection. On Thursday, May 6th, there will be a pop-up shop from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock p.m. in front of the DHS Theater. Come by and purchase some DHS attire. Hey Bikes, on today's segment, I will be showing you guys a few highlights from the Valley Girls soccer team, yeah. so I hope you enjoy Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. I was freaking out. Yeah. Baby. No! I took a half and she took the whole thing slow no! down. No! Baby. We took a trip, now we on your block and it's like a ghost town. Baby. Where did these be at when they said they doing all this and all that? Tired of beefing you bums, you can't even pay me enough to react. Been waking up in the crib, sometimes I don't even know where I'm at. Time. Seniors, graduation tryout speeches are due May 6th, Thursday. Check your senior canvas for more information on graduation tryouts. If you have questions, email Miss May. Hey Vikes, this is Adam Yanez, and this is my last segment on VNS. So, I asked a couple of senior athletes what their senior season has meant to them, and here's what a few had to say. This senior year, really, um, it means a lot, because... A lot of my teammates have been working and waiting for this moment, you know, um, they they were preparing themselves. And so the fact that we were able to start playing inside the gym, practice and have games, especially league and out, out of league games, this is, it means a lot. Well, my senior season meant to me, it was a roller coaster of emotions and we didn't know if we were gonna have a season. Once we find out we were, even though it was a short five games, I took advantage of every opportunity that came across me. I was getting filmed for colleges and being able to play with my brothers. We played great and I love every single one of them. Yeah, this season really means a lot to me, you know, given the fact that my entire senior year up until March, basically, uh, we didn't really know what was going on. There were so many unknowns and we didn't even know if we were going to have a season at all. So the fact that I'm just able to go out there representing Downey High School, playing with my teammates, you know, my classmates, my softball sisters on the field every day, I mean, it's just such a blessing. I'm so thankful to get this opportunity. And I know we're really gonna make the most of it as a team. I'm just, I'm so excited for what the season has to offer us. I know we're gonna do big things. So I'm really grateful. It's bittersweet. I mean, it's sad that it's coming to a close, but um, definitely closing that chapter and saying goodbye to high school is an emotional thing, but it's nice. Um, to me, it's just, it's incredible like that we got to play, you know, we all thought we were gonna play. So just being able to come out here and do it one last time with our teammates. That means everything. Thanks for watching, Vikes. Hope you enjoyed. Hey, seniors. Senior Sunset will also be on Wednesday, May 19th from 6 to 10 p.m. in the DHS Allen Lane Stadium. Don't forget to check your DUSC emails every day. And for more questions, ask Mrs. Sims. Hey Vikes, it's Natalie and this week I asked a couple teachers if they had any advice or words of encouragement for us during the last few weeks of the school year and here's what they had to say. Hello students! So uh, we are coming uh, to the end of the year here and I can tell that some of you are kind of in a, in a slump here uh, and I know some of you are struggling. Some of you are doing okay and that's great. Some of you are struggling. Uh, I just want to remind you of one thing that first of all, actually two things. First of all, the year is almost over, so we can breathe a little bit. Uh, secondly, all you can do is your best, okay? So I know some of you have had success this year, some of you have had a lot of struggles, but all you can do is your best. So forget about what a normal year looks like, just keep trying your best and keep grinding all the way till the end. That way when you look back, you think to yourself, at least I try my best. You don't know what the outcome's gonna be. That's out of your control. But what's in your control is to try your best. So just keep going. We're almost there. You got this. So some advice I have for the end of the year. No matter where you're at right now, there's always a chance that you can improve. It's always 
uh, no until you ask. So reach out to your teachers if you're struggling or if you need a little extra time on stuff. I'm sure they'd be happy to help you, help you get along or at least meet you halfway. Just remember, you have, you start the ball and then you can meet in the middle. So that's the end of the year. Everything will work out. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the semester and see you next year. Hey Vikes, the Downey High School Epic Jazz Choir is super excited to announce that auditions for next year are now open. We welcome all levels to audition. Do not be afraid that you're not good enough. All we need you to do is send in a video of you singing any song. But first, join the Google Classroom with the code SHINS23. Deadline's May 5th. If you have any questions, contact colru at dusd.net or DHS Jazz on Instagram. <laughs> Hey guys, Wilderness Park just opened up after months of reconstruction. Now I'm going to show you what's fun to do there. Wilderness Park is open every day of the week from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. It's located near Little Lake Road and Downey. Parking's free every day of the week. And on weekends, parking's also free, but only to Downey residents. Or you could just bring $5. Wilderness Park has two beautiful lakes. This is the biggest of the two with a huge waterfall in the middle. The park also has pathways that go around the entire park. It's a really good workout either for jogging or walking. The park has its own picnic area scattered around itself in case you want to bring some food to eat. If you follow the sidewalk, it takes you to the second lake. Past the second lake is the kids' playground. Tiny child approves. Bye. Thanks for watching. Hey Downey, this year's Bud Drive is being held at Downey Elk Squad this Friday, May 7th, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you're 16, you need a parent's consent form that you can pick up from the writing center or Mrs. Sims' office. Appointments are advised and you can make one by visiting this website or using this QR code. Hey guys, in this week's segment I will be showing you guys how to make hard shaped chocolates for Mother's Day. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, bike life is the only life amongst all life in the idea of life. See ya!